up guys it's sarah x welcome back to my channel i know it's been a hot sec i've been super super busy i started like a new job within the past couple months also within finance but just at a different company and so i've just been very busy with all of that and just honestly enjoying my life and not stressing about filming but i kind of miss it so i'm gonna get back into it i don't want to stress myself out with all of the stuff that goes along with filming but i do really enjoy it so i have a lot of videos lined up for the near future and i thought i would just get back into it because i missed it so this video is going to be a room tour of my san francisco room um i live in tribe co-living i actually have a whole tour of our entire co-living place which is like a previous video in my channel but i've never showed you guys my room really because it was kind of gross before i did not like the way it was set up and recently i just completely transformed it like i was in the zone and i was just like completely shifted everything around got new decorations all that stuff so i don't i don't know if i have a before picture but if you go to some of my past videos you can see like my room in the back and it's just like not it was just not and now it's a lot better so i'm gonna show you guys and i don't have a huge space so you can also see how i kind of deal with having a lot of stuff but not a lot of space so yeah let's get started all right so this is the door that you walk in through and it has like a full length mirror on the wall on the wall on the door and so this is kind of what I used to like look at my outfits and stuff and then okay so point of view you're coming in to the right over here I have my laundry basket which originally was like navy blue and kind of round and plastic but I upgraded to this light gray one which I got on Amazon and then down here I have this little blue ottoman that I put all of my sports shorts in and like my workout tops and then BAM okay so I have a lot of clothes and not a lot of closet space so basically I stacked all of my sweaters up here and I tried to color code it, but it's gotten a little messy over the days. And I have a lot of sweaters because I come from really cold climates. So, and I do a lot of thrifting and that's just sweater gold mine. And then here I hang more of my clothes that will get wrinkled. So I don't want to like fold them. So I just kind of hang a lot of that stuff up. And honestly, this is the messiest part of my room just because I have so much clothes. And then below that i have this little dresser thing and this was actually all black but i bought this marble surface paper which i got from amazon and it just kind of really elevates it and it makes it look more bougie even though it's just a piece of paper it kind of looks like marble so that's like my first tip is if you want to make any surface look more bougie just marbleize it with paper because it's really not that expensive and so this is kind of what I call like my junk area. Like I have my fan over there because we don't have AC in San Francisco. So on those few days where it does get cold, it's crazy. Then I have my junk three tier drawer right there. Clothes that I don't know where to put kind of right there. And then this bucket has like my hair dryer, some Clorox wipes, water bottles, just miscellaneous things. And then this one has like some shopping bags and like fanny packs. And then these drawers just have literally pants on pants on pants, just all pants. I, yeah, it's a problem. Okay, and then this is my favorite part, I think, of the entire room. It's this shelf, which again, I marbleized. Looks so much better than what it was before. And I just have this as my like Harry Potter display shelf. All of these books, Harry Potter books, I thrifted. So I'm trying to collect the hardcover version. A lot of them are first edition. I'm just missing the first one. And then I also thrifted this 100 classic stories book which is just like kids stories, but it just really brought me back to my childhood and I was into it. 
and then just some other random books this book is one of my roommates anthony he published some poetry books recently so he just gave me his first one that he published you should definitely go check it out he's very talented and then this plant i got from somebody in the house like gave it to me when they moved out this crochet thing i got from shein it was like two bucks and it's pretty small but it fits perfectly with my aesthetic over here and then that thing you would recognize if you watched my hawaii vlog i got that in hawaii so i love this little display shelf it's so cute and then up here i just have more hangers because i always need more hangers and then i have some jackets up there that i didn't know what to do with so i stuffed it up there and then we have my window so here's the thing i didn't have any curtains originally so it was always so bright in the mornings so what i did was i hung a dark tapestry in the back and then i put a, a more colorful aesthetic tapestry in front of it and so it's basically like self-made blackout curtains but for way cheaper because tapestries are a lot cheaper than blackout curtains and i just used velcro to hang it up so that's the situation there. And then my bed. So my bedding was completely different before, but then my friend Anusha was like, the colors are just not working. So we went to Ross and they had this black and white bed set. It came with this comforter, the three pillows, these two pillowcases, and then this bed curtain thing which is like, or a bed skirt, which basically goes down here and covers whatever is under your bed, which isn't good because I have a lot of stuff under my bed. So I got this new bed set because black and white just matches more things. And then my silk sheets I got from Amazon. They have this in a lot of colors. And then I just have my throw blanket for if I get cold and yes. So that is my bed. It is very comfortable, very big, and apparently I starfish when I sleep, so it's very necessary. And then this rug is also one of my favorite things because it's so soft. And I feel like rugs just make it look more homey. So my rug is from Ross as well. It was like eight bucks. Let me get like a wide angle view. Whoa, check out this wide angle view, yo. So this rug is very cozy. This nightstand, which I love the colors of, and it's just like very nice. It's kind of, this one's my junk drawer, whatever. But I thrifted this for literally 10 bucks. And then got my lamp, my vitamins. This is actually a desk. Mm -hmm. It's like a bed desk. I would recommend it for work from home because if you won't need to take anything, any meetings from your bed, this this like opens into a table like that. And you can adjust the height, you know? And I got this from Amazon. So I would recommend that if you are looking for a bed desk or if you just want to like eat in your bed. Okay. And then I have this wall decor which is Elvis and Marilyn Monroe. Somebody in my house threw this out, so I snatched it. And this is like my little mirror section. I have this mirror, which I usually use to put in my contacts. And then I have this random mirror, which just opens up the room a little more. It makes it look a little more, I don't know. It just lightens up the room. And again, I marbleize the top of the counter to elevate the vibe. I have a couple candles here. This one smells so good. I got it and it was like $1 from Meyer in Michigan. And then this one I got from Ross, pumpkin and cream. And honestly, I just keep it open because this one smells so strong that you don't even need to light it for it to scent the room. This lamp got from Amazon and this, my electric toothbrush. And then these drawers are just full of clothes as well. And then over here, we have another mirror, which looking at it now, I should probably clean. 
but I marbleized the outside of it. I was going crazy with this marble paper, I'm telling you. You just stick it on. So I marbleized that, and inside here, I just have some essentials, like my contact, solution, lotion, nail polish, retainer, all that good stuff. And then this was also huge. I had the normal soap container, but then I got this soap holder from Ross. Again, five bucks. And it kind of matched like my carpet and it looked a lot better than the normal soap container it came with. So I would recommend that. And then I marbleized the two parts of my sink, which just hold random things. Like I just put my makeup in there and like my hair curler. And then my trash can is down there and it's just random lotion that I don't know where to put. And then over here, I have my bag collection. And these are like my big bags that I couldn't really stuff into any drawers. So I'm actually gonna do a haul soon because I bought a bunch of stuff in the past month. So I'm just gonna do a massive haul. But I had just have like some leather bags, just bags that I usually like just bring to the grocery store or like on a weekend trip. I just hang right here along with my towels and my marbleized coat hanger rack. And then down here I have my shoe rack. So I don't actually have a lot of shoes. I don't know, is this a lot? I feel like I know girls that have more, but I mostly just have a bunch of sneakers and a couple sandals, a couple fall boots. And then this bag, I used to carry all my plastic bags so I could fill my trash can. And that is like my shower caddy because I need one since I live in a co-living place. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And like everything else, I just stuff under my bed. When I tell you that my bed, like, when I tell you that my bed is stuffed with things, like that's where all my sh stuff goes, along with the basement, so. Nothing too interesting there. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed my little room tour. It's not a lot of space, but I really don't need that much. Like, as long as I have a comfy bed, I'm happy, so. We love that San Francisco co-living life. It's a good time. I'll talk to you guys later.